Let's go to Ohio and talk to Don. Hey, Don, thanks for the call. You are live. Oh, good afternoon, Dr. Glinton. Thanks. Uh, what, what my issue is, um, I've, me and my wife have actually started taking the uh, Tangy Tangerine, uh, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0, the Citrus Peach Fusion. Yeah. We're also taking the Longevity Beyond Osteo um, FX. And then I also take like a cod, like a tablespoonful of um, almost like a, it's like an organic cod liver oil uh, every day that will help me be able to go and uh, absorb like with my fatty acids and things so I can better absorb everything and get it all working synergistically together. Uh, what my issue is is uh, about two years ago, I started having like a, um, allergies around my eyes, and I'd always had allergies um, ever since I've been a little boy. I'm 47 years old right now, and during the time I was I was having like mucus come up around them. Uh, I was starting to get like a rash um, and things, and I just thought it was allergies at first, but it just persisted and persisted, and then it got worse and worse. And I actually went to you know the eye doctor or um, the ophthalmologist, they gave me steroids, put stuff in. Well, it proceeded to get worse and worse. Uh, here we are uh, two years, uh, yeah, about two years later, um, pretty much completely debilitated. I'm now on steroid shots uh, because this is now pretty much all over my body. Um, if I don't go in, um, if I let the shots, uh, if I don't get a steroid shot and I let them run out, because I tried to do some natural stuff with uh, getting um, acupuncture and something else from a chiropractor and some homeopathic treatments, and it didn't work. Um, but basically, the, what they came back with blood work is that I have like an Ig. It's called immunoglobulin and IgE, and I don't know what the E stands for. But in a normal person, it's about a hundred to a hundred and fifty um, in your blood. But in myself, it's like at over nineteen thousand. I'm practically <laughs> al- yeah. yeah. I'm, pra- I'm practically allergic to everything. Um, I'm, I've been my me and my wife. We try to eat organically. Um, I believe in you know taking vitamins and all the rest of it. Um, but you know, you know, I, 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 and I keep on thinking that there has to be something in my body that. It's not getting the proper nutrients because I just started um, taking uh, this about last, uh, maybe about a week ago, uh, with the tangy tangerine and things. And I, you know, I'm at my wits end. Okay. Well, the first thing that I want to talk. Number one, I can help you, so don't despair. I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what's going on here. But number two, uh, you know, again, we don't want to overlook the obvious and. It seems like I have to drive this point home more and more frequently now, and this, I mean, this segues perfectly into my little monologue at the beginning of this broadcast about multiple disease conditions now becoming the norm. While you have been under the care of the MDs your entire life, all of this crap has happened to you, and the treatments that they have delivered to you haven't worked They've actually created side effects. They've caused more problems. And while you have been giving your body to them for health care, they have failed you miserably to such a great extent that you have been forced to, you know, look for alternatives on your own. So, you know, you're tracking down acupuncturists and you're tracking down, you know, shaman in the rainforest. That's probably going to be your next move. I would, if I were in your shoes with this much pain and suffering, you got to track Dr. Glidden down on the radio show, for goodness sake. This, and you're not alone, man. You're not alone. It's like this for everybody in this country. Everybody is up against it with their health, Don. Everybody is up against a chronic health condition or two or three or four. And this is why my colleague, Dr. Wallach, had the brilliant idea to set his company, Longevity, up as a network business because there's uh, thousands, hundreds of thousands of people like you, hundreds of thousands of people like you, and hundreds of thousands of other people suffering with other chronic health conditions that the MDs are completely incapable of helping them with. And, you know, it, it's going to come to the breaking point sooner or later, and, and we're here to fill the void because we have been convinced of two 
myths in this country. Myth number one, the MD is the undisputed king of medicine and everybody else is the back of the bus quack. That's nonsense. The only people practicing quack medicine in the United States have MD after their name and you are a perfect example of it. The stuff that they have given you didn't do what they said it wouldn't. You got worse into the bargain. That's quack medicine. Number two, you've been convinced that healing is a complicated, sophisticated process that can only be handled by medical professionals practicing in multi-million dollar high-tech sterile facilities uh, called hospitals. It's nonsense. Surgery is complicated. Healing is easy. Healing is easy. So our take on your situation is simple and elegant. Most answers to health conditions are... The immune system central headquarters is in a network of blood vessels which surrounds your small intestine. It's the small intestine's job to absorb nutrients into the bloodstream. It's the small intestine's job to absorb stuff into the bloodstream. So when stuff passes through the intestinal barrier and gets into the bloodstream, guess what? It meets the border guard. I mean, you go to Canada, you got to cross the border. You go to Mexico, you got to cross the border. You fly over to France, you've got to cross the border. Once you get off the plane, well, it's no different in the human body. The border guard is your immune system, and immune system central headquarters exists in a network of blood vessels which surrounds your small intestinal tract. It's called the greater and the lesser omentum. When you have trouble in the small intestine, you get holes in the fence between the inside and the outside of your body. They're microscopic holes, but they're there nonetheless. And when you get holes in the fence, the defensive barrier between the inside and the outside of the body, large molecules of stuff can slip through the cracks where only small molecules should be able to be allowed through. And when you get a big molecule of something, even if it's 100% organic, you know, carrots, if the molecular size is too big, it's going to capitulate an immune response. And when an immune response is stimulated and stimulated and stimulated and stimulated and stimulated and stimulated all of the time, after a while, the immune system just goes crazy. Because the immune system is, you know, a big complicated mechanism of gears, right? And it's like when your immune system is overstimulated all of the time, it's like driving an engine hard. 120 miles an hour with only two quarts of oil in it. You know, there's going to be a lot of stress and things are going to start to break. So you've gone, you know, from bad to worse. You're headed straight to hell in a handbasket while you've given yourself over to the MDs. So our fundamental position is that with every medical condition, we want to try to get to the root cause of what's the problem. Well, what the heck is the problem? Well, the problem here, from our point of view, is degradation of the small intestinal milieu, degradation of the border between the inside and the outside of the body. And there are 10 foods which contribute to that. There are 10 foods which are the culprits here. So there are 10 foods that you need to eliminate from your diet. And I don't care about the, the blood testing that you had done. I don't care about that right now. In the future, I'll care about that. And I know a lot about the IgG and the IgM and the IgA. By the way, the E stands for a particular part of the immune system, right? They also do allergy testing for IgA, IgG, IgM, and IgE. Why they did the IgE blood test, I have no idea. I would not have done the IgE blood test, but that's, you know, I don't want to go on to a rant about that. But my point here is you need to stop eating food that's damaging the small intestine. And once we've done that, then we give nutrients to your body that your body can use to fix the small intestine and settle the immune system down and also, you know, to regulate and repair tissue. Because your body needs raw materials to regulate and repair tissue. If you don't have the raw materials, then the body can't fix itself, no matter how good you're eating, no matter how organic you're eating. Because the nutrients that your body needs to fix itself are not found in the food, not all of them. You can't do it. Unless you're supplementing appropriately with the right stuff and the right quantities and the right recipes and the right dosages, you're pissing into the wind, and it's not going to work. So the recommendation here is eliminate the 10 bad foods. So eliminate the 10 bad foods from your diet. 
And then we need to hook you up with the raw materials that will calm your gut down and help your immune system to, you know, stop over-functioning, give your body the stuff it needs to fix itself. And all of this, Don, begs the question, the million-dollar question here is, what is your current body weight? How much do you currently weigh? Uh, close to 300 pounds. I'm all swollen. I know that i got to go and have uh, six scoops of the Tangy Tangerine 2.0 a day, and that's what I have been doing, and then three scoops of the Longevity uh, Beyond Osteo FX in the powder form every day. Yeah, that's a good place to start. Um, another good thing to add into that program would be a selenium. I would do four bottles of selenium a month, four bottles of selenium a month. That's 12 a day. That's four capsules three times a day. That's easy to do because they're small little capsules. And the secret sauce here for you would be uh, uh, the root beer belly. Uh, the root beer belly, which is probiotics that support and promote the structure and function of your gut. Now, the gut here, even though it might not seem like it is, but the gut is the root cause of the trouble here. We have to give the body stuff that it can use to fix the gut. Another interesting supplement to use would be Mackey Plus, M-A-Q-U-I Plus. Mackey Plus is a superfood that's loaded with antioxidants. It also has aloe vera. And aloe vera is very, very, very soothing to the intestinal milieu. I would do a couple of bottles of Mackey Plus a month. Uh, you shouldn't need to do that for more than one or two months. That's like a short-term fix. The selenium, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, the White Liquid Calcium, and the EFAs, that's a lifelong program for you, for me, for everybody. The only thing that changes going downstream with that is the dosage, right, because it's based upon your body weight. It is of maximum importance that you eliminate these 10 bad foods from your diet, number one. Number two, give the program, once you've eliminated the 10 bad foods, 90 days, nine zero days to become effective. And by the way, the meds that you're taking will work better once your body is neutrified. And, you know, quite frankly, if it were me, I would go to a pharmacist. I would get them to put me on a reduction schedule for the meds today, and I would get on the reduction schedule for those meds today because they're not doing anything to help you. As a matter of fact, they're hurting. Give the program 90 days. Clean the diet up. Take those nutritional supplements. Call me back every couple of weeks with a report, and I'll look forward to that. More to come, ladies and gentlemen. Stick around. <laughs> 